Hello, welcome to the programme. I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. We're going to start with some breaking news. FIFA has provisionally suspended the president of Spain's Football Association from all football-related activities. It follows his refusal to resign after being accused of forcibly kissing a winner of the uh, Women's World Cup on the lips. Well, earlier, the Spanish Football Federation accused Jenny Hermoso of lying about the incident uh, when she said she did not consent to being kissed on the lips by him following Spain's victory over England in Sydney. Well, the organisation said it would take legal action against her. More than 80 players have now said they'll boycott games until he quits. Our sports correspondent Joe Linsky has more. Spain's winning World Cup moment could soon become a legal battle. This was the kiss from the FA presidents that overshadowed the week they became world champions. Luis Rubiales has refused to resign and now the dispute has gone further. Last night, Jenny Hermoso said, as was seen in the images, at no time did I consent to the kiss. The Spanish Football Federation has hit back. They say the presidents will show each of the lies that are spread, either by someone on behalf of the player or by the player herself, and that they'll now take legal action. The RFEF say these pictures prove Rubiales right, and that this lift from Hermoso meant she also gave consent. She has denied that action even happened. Para que pidan mi dimisión. Is that so serious that I have to leave while having done the best job for Spanish football? Do you Yesterday, Mr. Rubiales had been expected to stand down, but instead came defiance. I will not resign. No, voy a dimitir. I will not resign. He said five times, I will not resign. But in the hours that followed, key names in Spanish football spoke out. 81 female players now say they won't play for their country until he's gone. Alexia Puteas is the current Ballon d'Or holder. She tweeted, this is unacceptable, it's over. While Borja Iglesias plays in La Liga for Real Betis and was capped for the men's team back in March, he said, I have made the decision not to return to the national team until things change. This was the front page this morning of Spain's biggest sports paper. The headline in Marca read Global Embarrassment. When Rubiales spoke yesterday, it was met mostly with applause, but one vice president within the federation has stepped down in protest. I have presented my resignation after seeing that Luis Rubiales continues to head the Spanish federation. I have been the only president of the president's commission who has told him so, looking him in the face. I owe a lot of things to Luis, but what happened in the final, especially in the box, is unacceptable. Well, our reporter, Sergi Focada, is in the newsroom. Uh, hi, Sergi. So tell us about this uh, provisional suspension. Yeah, so this is the statement by FIFA, by the FIFA Disciplinary Committee that has just been released a few uh, minutes ago, and that confirms the suspension, provisionally suspension of Luis Rubiales. That's why there is an investigation uh, ongoing. So this suspension is effective as from today and it will last for uh, 90 days and it affects both national so Spanish football but also uh, international uh, football. Um, what we know so far and what FIFA has said is that Mr. Rubiales uh, has to refrain through himself or third parties uh, from contacting uh, Jennifer Hermoso, which is obviously uh, the player that he kissed during um, the World Cup. Um, or attempting to contact her. So we know that the Spanish Football Federation had trying to uh, approach and contact Jennifer Hermoso in the past uh, few days. That was uh, unsuccessful. Um, but now what FIFA is saying is, look, don't even explore that idea because you, know, you should not contact uh, the player while this investigation uh, by FIFA is ongoing. And what's the uh, general reaction been over the last couple of days to this in Spain? Yeah, not reaction yet to this uh, FIFA statement. I'm sure, though, that many uh, in Spain will have uh, a lot to say about this. But look at the front pages um, of Spanish uh, media this morning. 
Luis Rubiales everywhere. He was in all front page um, in, in newspapers in, in Spain. And despite the fact that yesterday he decided that he didn't want to resign and he was uh, very vocal about it, some of these newspapers are already saying that he has no choice, that sooner or later he'll have uh, to go, whether it's because of pressures from FIFA or other investigations that are already ongoing in Spain so, through some national uh, authorities. Let's take a look at, to a couple of uh, front pages in particular. Marca, sports newspaper, saying that this is a global mess, a global embarrassment. And another one here, comparing this to the Me Too movement, saying that the whole situation has now turned into the Me Too movement of Spanish football. Sergi, thank you so much for that. I know you're keeping across these developments. Thank you.